chocolatey, moppety goodness. That was fantastic. I've died and gone to heaven. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband, Ben. Malaysia! Welcome back. We're on to Aldridge's and this is a Malaysia series. We're actually bored. <laughs> we we took some time off in Kuala Lumpur just to work and we're like just fed up. I can't be on that computer anymore. So today I was like, let's go out and eat some food. If we're gonna eat food, we might as well film it. We said to each other, oh, what should we do? Scratching our ears, oh I don't know. Why don't we just eat everything? So there's some really famous stuff here in Malaysia, so we might as well go out of a bang and just eat everything. We're actually staying 40 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur in a little town called Kota Warisan. We've got like our own little communities, like everything we need here, there's restaurants, there's a mall. Laundrettes, fast food chain, street food. What yeah. more could you want? We've actually been staying here for nearly like nine days now and we only just ventured into the mall and we're like, there's so much in there and we saw so much things we want to try and we were like, we're bored today, let's go and try it. Yeah, I think the first thing like we saw, like, and this is like, obviously, we've got a lot of followers from Pakistan and they, they do do a very good cheese parata in there. And I mean, it wouldn't be right and it would take us back to our time in Pakistan if we tried a Malaysian parata. cheese parata, yeah. So this is called Kipmo. It's not, it's not a massive ball, but it's got like loads of good food places. So obviously I've been waiting a couple of months to get my hands on a parata again. Obviously going for the chicken and cheese parata. Looks very good, but I'm gonna dive straight in. Very sweet. It's got like a, a relish inside and the relish is like really sweet. The parata is like crispy. So unfortunately these are like frozen and they heat them up, grills them and stuff. So they're not like made fresh in front of us, which obviously is a little bit disappointing. Taste wise, although this is very nice, very tasty, it's not as good as Pakistan, but I've got my hands on a parata, that's a good thing. And it was only 720 ringgit, um, although it is a bit small. That was actually really nice. It, it kind of reminded me of like a pizza. Yeah, it's a bit different, but I really enjoyed it. They do have like a pizza beef one, but Ben's now getting a roti boy. We have had these a few times, and I think we have filmed it on a previous video, but these are so unreal. And they're only like three ring it, and we're obsessed. We've been getting one every single day. I'm gonna miss them. Oh, here comes Ben with the goods. Ben! Ooh, gimme! So, oh, I've got the cheese one. Oh, it's so good. What'd you get? The mocha, right? I've had a mocha, like, it's like the third down the road. <laughs> but honestly, look, I'm just gonna rip it for you. That's the cheese one! Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Quick. Stop. Quick. There you go. I can't. Put it back in the bag. And it didn't happen. You just squashed and ruined mine. As I said, I'm going to rip it. Yeah. Chocolatey, moppety goodness. Not for me. I don't like coffee. To be honest, it's not overpowering coffee in it, but... Oh. It's so good. So good. As you saw, mine's got like cheese in the middle. Ben's kind of squashed it now. It was like nice and fluffy. <laughs> Try it. Oh. It's so good. You got like the grilled cheese on top, and then you got like a cream cheese in the middle. But it's just something about these buns. They're really, really sweet. They kind of remind me of real. And they're normally big and fluffy. If Ben hasn't squashed it with his ginormous hands, and they always look really warm. Mm. They're like literally made fresh. Don't eat them when they're cold. They're not as good. But we're gonna have a walk around the mall. As we said, we're a bit bored today, so we're just having a stroll for here and see what there is. As you can see, the sun's starting to set. We have actually been back in our room for like a couple of hours, just chilling out. As the sun sets, means the night market's come out, and there's literally a night market, but a pretty good one, really. Literally one minute walk from our place. Yeah, potato. 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 Uh, potato. Uh, fish. Five, two, two ringgit. Uh, two ringgit. Uh, five. Five ringgit. And five, yeah? Five ringgit and five ringgit. Yeah. Five pieces. Five pieces. Two ringgit. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh my god, that's amazing. It's sweet potato. Is it? Mmm. We also got these, which are like banana. Ooh, oh, that looks really thick. Well, not. So we got like five pieces for two ringgit. Oh, but let's go and get yeah. the main event, the main thing we came down here to try, the Rotty John. Rotty John, best Rotty John for us. Which one are you going for? Rotty John. I am Dagen. Beef Dagen. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a traditional one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, we've got the finished products looks unbelievable honestly so i'm gonna unwrap it i've got to be a little bit careful because he's chopped it individual bits so i think when i wrap it it's just literally gonna go everywhere oh my god that looks unreal yeah, it looks incredible so i'm gonna literally take i might actually take a bit from the middle there mm. Oh my god, that is literally amazing. As soon as you bite it, like it bursts of flavors. You've got like a peppery flavor and a sweet flavor all together. They've got like a spicy sauce. They mix it in with the egg, lay it all out flat and then roll the roll, the roll on it. So the roll's, got, that's, the roll's got like a sweet flavor as well as that like saucy flavor as well with the egg. So good. So they fry two two burgers, two beef burgers. When, they, when they're partially cooked, he then minces them up with his little like putty knife, it almost looks like and then puts that sauce in it. So that's really juicy. So basically, it's just like a burst of pure flavors. Unbelievable. So Rotty John is incredible. And very, very messy. Yeah. Look at that. Rotty John, for me, quite experienced in my Malaysian burgers and stuff. Rotty John beats Ramley Burger. Ooh. Yeah, Rotty, John, Rotty John's a better than Brownie Burger. I'm not a fan of food that has too much going on. I'm a person that eats food separate. So this is not really my type of thing, but let's try it. It's not as, but there's a ton of flavors going on. You got like a kick, you got the spicy sauce as Ben said, but this is gonna be a messy meal, but it's good. And that was only eight bring it. Bargain, amazing. Let's go and get dessert. Uh, and another two. Uh, Oreo, Kit Kat bites, please. Yes, that's odd. Yes, thank you. You can thank you. Bye. Thank you. Look at what I've got. We're at Lolola, a very popular ice cream chain here in Malaysia. I've seen it so many malls all over the place. And at last, I've got one. I went for the medium sized one with three toppings. So I've gone for a hazelnut chocolate sauce, Kit Kat chunky bits, and Oreo. And it is massive, it's like Mr. Whippy ice cream. Let's try and get a bit of everything. So we've got the sauce, the ice cream. Oh, so good. Mm, that is fantastic. I've died and gone to heaven. They're not stingy on the toppings. They put loads of chocolate all over it. So good. I can see why this is so popular. I'm glad I'm only just having one now because if I had one at the beginning of the time in Malaysia, I'd probably end up having one every day. But this is actually frozen yogurt. It's not ice cream. So it's healthy. It's what I'm telling myself. Looks healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only 18 ringgit. I think it's very good. I had a basket robins once out. I think it was Pakistan. There's one here as well. And I'm not joking, it was like a scoop about that big and it cost us like four, five dollars. So ridiculous. That was in Pakistan, the world's cheapest country. Well, this kind of board day has turned into a little bit of food tour. Standard. It's been fun. Standard procedure. Yeah, well, it just shows you like the little area we're staying in. We're not far from the airport here. So if you do want somewhere to relax, maybe before you go to your next country or you go home, this is a perfect location. Kota Warrison is called the area. Beautiful. Um, our place will be in the description down below if you want to stay at our accommodation. It's just all been perfect and lovely here. And the weather, it's really good today. This is the first evening we've not had rain. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a treat. But we're actually travelling home in a couple of days because it's nearly Christmas. So yeah. we're getting ourselves sorted a little bit. Yeah, we might do one, one more video. We might just do like a day in the life. But uh, let us know in the comments if you want to see that. Alternatively, subscribe. We're actually staying 40 kilometres. We're actually staying 40 kilometres. <laughs> kilometres? Why kilometres? Sounds weird. Kilometres or kilometres? We're actually staying 40 kilometers, you said. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a light light, alright? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Might need a picture. If you do want like a relaxing, can you get that hair out of my face? Yeah. Just wipe my face. Got it? Yeah. Trying the country's fast food part. <laughs>